This is, of course, the map pick of Big. It's one where they've recently lost to Young Ninjas. It's one where they've recently beaten Amcal. So I think that, again, kind of touching into JDC, it's like uh, the growing pains will cause inconsistencies. Whereas Gamer Legion have done a really good job of, again, qualifying for a major. Proving that uh, when it comes to that one step beneath top tier Counter-Strike, they are still the gatekeepers. And we'll see if they can do it online versus a fresh-faced German Crimbo squad. Yeah, I like that part too. We're still looking at Crimbo to be the frag leader of this team and the star lurker of the region. He said, Big is my home. When the criticisms of him not leaving kind of came forth, it is JDC to open up in the frag department. Good Gush versus Isaac. Keeps his head down, gives himself a second chance, gives himself a third chance. But there's Crimbo. Speak of the devil. He'll come tearing over through middle, over construction. Good lurk from Searson as well. Crimbo taking all that attention by jumping down construction. Leaves Snacks to think that he was alone. Second player in middle as well seals the deal. Big, very convincing pistol. You know, this is a team that I was I was cheering for, but it's one that actually Maui Snake, Snake created with his tweets because he literally asked for these two roster moves specifically and his prayers were answered. Yeah, it's about time he gets one right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, never mind. Okay. Wait. Okay. It's cause a little panic. JDC will come back. The insurance policy that goes down with the ship. Two kills to oh. JDC on the entry was nice. Mm -hmm. The one rather before Crimbo comes in. I think we saw when you know Monty grinded for Paris. They played so many online games that that actually mattered because they were playing officials online. Um, but I think, yeah, a lot of people are, are struggling to find what they're going to be doing for these next couple of months without competing at PGL Copenhagen. I would say that Virtus Pro always a good example of that as well, right? Playing the online events ahead of the Rio run, uh, just mm -hmm. get the reps in. Bolt. Swinging around on site, trying to hold this ramp peak at bay. It is Snacks to short instead to turn back with the double kill. Searson kind of extending there with no trade potential. He had to pull through with that. Or they're in this spot. Tabson? Well, he gets dropped by Kioz. That was a clean trade as Smoke Plumed and the Flash. Very uncomfortable one for Kioz to get the kill back, but he does. But you push Krimbo into the clutch. Now, this is what Krimbo brings to the table. You know, he's almost this got that Zipex-esque aura at times. Absolutely, you could call him sort of German's zip, uh, Germany Zipix. And he's set up to succeed in this moment. It's a 1v2 with time. It's a complicated puzzle to solve. And there are some good shooters on the other side. But yeah, this is what he's paid to do. Oh, oh my God, he got the shot off. Yeah. That was actually a headshot to the PC. We know that uh, Searson was always struggling on the open and kill percentage. That's something he improved on. And then uh, they've got taps in. JDC up front. And then we have Krimbo as the closer. A few things need to go right here, of course, for Big. But in terms of roles being adjusted, like JDC said, it does feel like the, uh, how can you say, complexion or composition of the team actually looks like it could work. Yes, I agree. Yep. The formula makes sense on paper. You know, you see this yeah. online as a recipe. You believe in it. Mm -hmm. Whether you can cook it up, that's the question. No contest on ramp at all. We got four players just on the brink of it, pushing in. They signed okay. up for this with the passive bolt angle, you know. Gamer Legion have chosen to put themselves in this spot. Maybe banking or hoping that it wouldn't wow. come through, but Big slip in with the plant to boot. They've got two deagles still in play, leaning back. But you've got Tapson committed to the sandbags. You've got a good amount of utility on Acor. A couple more flashes for Kioz. One kid on Volt. One kid to watch for. A little sketchy. Very sketchy. But the lineup smoke. But the defuse goes out. Oh, Oof. hold on. Smoke lands a little shy, I think. It's not oh, going to yeah, cover the does. bomb. And because of that, Krimbo may get vision on it. There's the first tap. He gets oh. the key on his headshot. Volt's trying to defuse it, and it's not going to go down. Deagles. It's not even the AKs they bank on, but the double Deagles to come through with three. Yeah, that's a pretty bad mistake from Gamer Legion. As you mentioned, smoke misses. You can't miss your one smoke on it. Been picking up one each time. 
threw a wrench in the works in that near pistol round win as well that just couldn't be clutched out. But it is big set their sights on A yet again. Snacks solo this time around, thinking about maybe some mid-presence. Big's timing have come at different intervals so far on this A site. Yeah. And I think that change of pacing is kind of keeping Gamer Legion a couple steps behind. Hyper passive A setup, Snacks in Elevator. Yeah, do you want this, especially with the guns they have? Probably not pulling off a retake, but we can I Isaac to see if they're going to even attempt it. Or sorry, Bolt as well has a kit smoke. They're coming on over. Short control keeping up, but then the Molly will stop them. That's a good smoke. That smoke can actually help them a lot. I don't think Big can necessarily counter this unless they blow it up. It was a tea smoke on sandbags. Make sense of that after the pistols try to hold off and they do so well enough. Trying to press up the top ramp, JDC to recover. It's the USP that ends up getting one. M4 still in play with Isaac. Trying to set him up with 20 seconds to go. Searson Krimbo squeezing around the crane and snacks. Well, he's tucked in at the base of ramp. Oh, on the smoke timing. Searson pulls the nade out, pushes Krimbo to the clutch. He's cautious of Snacks, who's now climbing up top crane. Crypto's going to be exposed, and they've done hmm. it. Gamer Legion coming through. Great timing from Isaac. Wow, they actually pulled that off because the CTs decided to full stack the A site, pushed up the short, got that smoke down on short. <laughs> Just got that perfectly placed off in the academy. Like, I always thought he was a very smart player. He wasn't a star player, but I liked almost everything I saw from him in rounds. Whereas Sin, I liked his aim more than I liked uh, his positioning or his game sense. So I, I think that maybe Process doesn't quite have the same, maybe like aim or star potential, but I think he could potentially be a better fit for sure. Right. He's got that je ne sais quoi. Mm -hmm. Now in German? Nope. Klackenwagen. <laughs> <laughs> Locked into the top ladder hold is crazy, Krimbo. Just sat down beneath it, waiting for the feet. <laughs> he also was so close to overstepping that boundary, but he falls back from middle instead. And also holding off, waiting for the ramp push. Maybe feeling that mm. the you know majority pistols they expect from Gamer Legion are going to have to get frisky. We've seen Snacks locked into this corner once the smoke fades. I'd be surprised to see him just sit there again, as opposed to trying to make a play or just straight up falling back. So he's done that. Here. But if they don't peak actually peak, peak a okay, that's a little, that's a, that's a little weak. That's just gonna send him one player down. They at least get the pushback off the A ramp, but now they got 30 seconds and no one's moved from A. Max is on Xbox. Good for the headshot. Good for the second even. Top Crane, 5-7, holds the line. Isaac now with the AK at a distance, cleans up house. And we got Gamer Legion in with a third, so. He's on 10. Acor, I'm telling you, it's easy. <laughs> He's Italian. I still respect that Snacks gives handshakes. <laughs> he gives handshakes to his teammates at the end of games. They don't do fist bumps. He oh, does okay. firm handshakes. Firm handshakes all around. Which, you know, as the leader of men in this instance, yeah. I kind of respect that. Yeah. Cool. We are not friends. We are business partners. Mm. Snacks presses down within the smokes. Volt just got vision before going blind. And Snacks is evading. Ugh. But standing on JDC, who's not got vision. So JDC, what? Late to come through. Snacks on the 5-7. He gets two frags because JDC and him just touch each other. And then still, he doesn't follow through. Oh boy. Snacks literally just body checks JDC, pushes him out of line, gets two more kills from it. Let's see if JDC can recover the round, because that's going to leave something to be desired. Kios creeps in, gets bomb possession at the 45 second mark, and we get Krimbo in another clutch. Has not been able to pull these off so far this half. 
And he will not be able to here either. A great recovery from Gamer Legion towards the tail end. Holding or a big Polish man. So when in a smoke, uh, that's maybe excusable. I think there was a bit better shooting out of Gamer Legion, which held him back in the beginning of the game too. So that was overdue. And now we've got a push here from big... Oh, uh, the shadow appears. JC barely even shows up. And that snack's gone. That's crazy how he just wasn't on a screen at all, it felt yeah, like. Yeah, just got smoked. Yeah. Meanwhile, the mid split goes swimmingly. And Isaac. Ooh. Okay. Deep down on the B stairs. Kills Krimbo, who gets in on the push. So, yeah, you may have taken the stairs control, but Snax's death is not in vain. Vengeance from the Gamer Legion. Process. Yeah, sorry, Kios. <laughs> no. He got spotted, buddy. He gets slammed against the wall. We'll see if Tapson, yes sir, can come through with the kill from CT. So back into the even keel. But this forward green control gives room for Process to push up. Keeps Tapson back for the time being. We've got no kit on the play. We've got Tabson pushing into the site, realizing it's clear because both of them slip past. Gamer Legion go through the smoke. And time is of the essence. Mm. Closing it out as Tabson gets out. As casters in the last few years. Yes, sir. Um, and every time they make roster moves, of course, you're hoping for better new beginnings. Or at least a honeymoon of some sort. You know what I mean? You'd hope. I have to say that, you know, I I'm a little disappointed in the first half that Krimbo didn't get in in any inspiring clutch moments. Yeah. And that's also left him kind of at the bottom of the board for the team in the first half, too. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we literally started off by saying even in this new big, you know, Krimbo remains the star. And uh, we're waiting. Searson, scout damage. Oh, taps in. Just Excuse. bends a bullet of the P250 yeah. around the crane. All right. Sure you can. Luckily for Gamer Legion, Snacks there to pick up the slack. And we find Krimbo alive again. Now, this time they will come to him. Not the other way around. Can he manage to shave Isaac, who's low health, off this? Yes, sir. Takes only a quarter damage, too. So still a winnable one. Kiaz and Snacks going to want to rejoin again. S waiting. Crimbo. Oh, Crimbo. There it is. There's the clutch rewind. Don't miss like X Factor. Close games don't go their way. Yep. Overtime games don't go their way. And it's like maybe it's the late round players that are what are more needed. Oh, God. Uh oh. What? A Zeus, baby. Snacks just entry frags yellow with a Zeus. Only snack. Now, luckily for Big, it wasn't Searson going for an op peak, but just swinging with the MP9. Oh, he's following and the bomb. Nicely done, JDC. Good timing, top middle. He does not want to get caught here because he's got everything on a platter. Isaac in the back. Four players to mow down. And JDC just churns through three. Some shenanigans from Snacks to give them anything to work with. Kios <laughs> keeps thinking he's sneakier than he is. <laughs> <laughs> just dies in the corner once more. And the only thing is Snacks' is two kills this round. A tenth for big, double digits secured. Well, pretty perfect time. Armar and uh, and Kato to like get as far as they could and um, had some very close matches as well that didn't go their way. Searson wants revenge, and he'll find it. Off peak out of short, just ahead of the frag grenade, of which did take him down pretty low, but survives the bullets that come with it and leaves Process on the corner, who almost falls to Acor. Gamer Legion playing both ends of the map to try and find some kind of an opening here in round 17. Krimbo happy to just lean back. Was just holding. Oh my god. They boost on stairs to try to get vision over. Oh, that need. That's money. That's 60 damage right there. Searson on another angle. Waits back. Can't manage the flick. Got taps in to hold off on short so that not both players in A are low. Potent HEs. 
They're really just gonna dry swing this? Ooh, scary. Two chances, That's but two missed shots. Oh. Dude, the maids this round have been crazy. And there's another one lined up here from Tapson. If they get on the bomb site, Searson finally connects one. Frag goes to default, no stoppage. JDC takes a swing through smoke and it costs him a court trades back to Tapson. We've got Crimbo in another clutch, but low health on the two T's. He snaps it over, knows Acor's hands busy. Seven seconds, the clutch oh, he's halfway he's there, and he's got it because <laughs> he pushes around the side and completely outboys him. Yeah, the fat side of the smoke as well. Crazy. He wouldn't have expected that. Crimbo with the good read on the situation. Maybe hoping he can get vision on the other side as well. Good option coverage. And... Uh, Big won that, and I'm, I'm quite happy they won that simply because they landed so many good HEs. Would you have to go watch the demo again? Yeah, Utility at B has been pretty ghastly lately. That's yeah. weird paranormal activities over there. Yeah. Big swing. Snacks isn't going to lose the duel. Whole squad groups up behind the entry frag. Tapson looking to come out, and he'll get one. With little chip damage on Kioz and Isaac. Oh, Pearson looking for his right? lead impact. Oh, oh dude. He's every AD. round, every approach, these HEs are tearing through that Kevlar. And they still have two more, actually. Oh, yeah, they do. But JDC also has a job to do inside of mid, just in case, for now. Oh my god, he saw, saw that. that Crimbo no longer lining the nade up, but Searson comes in with the kill instead. They do cross as the op is on cycle. Really good there from Gamer Legion to use that second they had to work. Searson now knows sight taken. Bomb being planted, mm. another nade for 47 damage. And the flank. But critically, Volt's alive. He's running back to short side. JDC pretty fast on this flank. And by taking Volt out, they never got that player back. So Snacks can't anchor. He's in the sight. And he's surrounded on all three sides. Over the top goes Searson. And it's big impact from the Opper out of big to clean up after impact from nades. Big just owning on this CT side. <laughs> Some things never change. They're just losing in German now. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Uh, here they go. Try to take a peek at a fountain. Oh, Ooh, JDC, nice little fade away. It's time to leave. Taps in. He's gonna chase one, okay. but he comes out of the stairs, okay. so he puts himself on full display to Acor, and that is three kills towards a easy snacks. Creeping out from Monster, puts a bullet to the back of Prosis, and poor Crimbo's been outplayed. He's been out rotated, finagled. And as he duels towards Long Bomb Plant B, so Gamer Legion. Pretty quick into the pistol, not wasting any time with it, and rewarded what for you it. Like to contractually play overpass because you're German. Like it's like a German map. Like, yeah, but yeah, it's based in Berlin. They're the Berlin like international. If Vertigo was uh, in Can a skyscraper in Toronto, I would instantly stop hating on it. I'd give it another chance. Are you sure? Because I mean, you still okay. Be able what to if it was a uh, you know? So it's like it's like it wouldn't it remind you of. Housing prices, Mohan. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Remind you of condo fees. Oh, annual property tax. Oh, God. Realtors. Oh, no. Brokers. Ah. <laughs> Let's not do that. Pros has been playing dangerous games in the short water, but... Stop shot from Acor. I feel like we haven't really had to say Acor's name much today. I'm waiting for the impact. Yeah, for Ready real. For he's it. been key. For, he's been key for the team. I mean, at Cato, at the R mark. Man, I just went back and looked at that result, and yeah, the nine pandas lost at the end of the LCQ after the entire RMR and losing by one round. Mm -hmm. And I remember the round two with that nuke upper, upper A rush. Oh, to a half by. That is freaking brutal, man. That is so after I don't even they know had played. Like. After they had played. And that was what the, the sixth map of the day, because they yeah, had already right. had to play two, two best of threes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they were on the third map of the second best of three oh, in man. the last round of the last chance. I after mean. after getting <laughs> oh. after being in a major grand final, like yeah. the last major grand final. Oh yeah, to the last round of the LCQ just to get into the oh from the most magical run 
the dream coming true in Paris to the most soul-crushing alternative of yeah. Copenhagen. Gamer Legion have lived through it all. No kidding. Nate stack into B. They miss the mark uh -oh. and they charge in. It is finally big to get the first kill. And this time they also hold off monster. This time it gets stuffed for the first time of three. He is a new kid. A man of good taste. Indeed. 2.1 sensitivity. 4 3. 12 89 60. But the crosshair looks the right. I don't know. Oh, yep. Ooh. Nicely done, Kiaz. Ahead of the smoke, ahead of the molly with the door open, and he just crawls in, just takes a peek. Oh, Searson. Uh, uh, That's uh. unfortunate. <laughs> Didn't hear him either. Volt will catch JDC top long. So, Searson, that's like pulling your own pants down in public. Uh, <laughs> you're you're going you're gonna to pay for it. So he's like an exhibitionist, like he's into it. Yeah, you know, somebody else does it. You're, you're the victim, but you do it to yourself, man. You're horny. <laughs> and exposed <laughs> in the front of bathrooms where he dies for free. So Gamer Legion, again, just... I think showing us the depth of the pacing in their rounds, their ability to target certain stuff, and shout out yeah. Kios because I think that creep in on Tabson really caught him off guard. He did not anticipate somebody to come through what was like two smokes, Molly on his own, and just yeah. a deep enough angle as well without taking a single tick of damage from the fire. You know, Kios, an agent of chaos in that last one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, I've got a good spawn moment to use right there. I've got a good spawn, I've got a good timing, and I think I've got a small opening, you know, and he doesn't overstep it, doesn't get yeah. too crazy, doesn't fly through fire to get the kill. Capson right back to the connector antics, Searson. What's his choice? Got his counterpart in Acor floating around. Acor still sitting on one kill. But hey, hasn't been part of the action. Kios slides out through Monster. Bomb is in tow with Snacks. But seeing as this is starting to get stuffed by smoke, yeah, okay, Kios is going to try to go one deeper. And in doing so, it's a 5v4 to big. There wasn't really much to do there for the rest of Game Religion as he ran out into the B site. Oh, oh man, I was thinking great spot for Searson up above. What a flick out of Acor, man. I mean, of course, if he had missed, he was completely cooked. Imagine there's a jump here that just can't. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, man, you uh -oh. Almost, yeah, it's not far off. But Acor a little more preoccupied with bathrooms. He'll go back to it with the teammates inching closer. Oh, he's like, I get to hop. Oh my god. Careful. Yeah. Full <laughs> exposed here, man. Standing out of the open. Process doing the same thing. Missed op shot from Tapson. Nades come through to X boxes at Acor. Hold on up. Trying to get the angle. It's the long player instead to connect. Doubling Ooh. down. Bolt. Excellent second headshot. And he is having himself a great second map. Yeah, no kidding. Not the first time he has had these clean headshots on the entry in the 3v3s when it's demanded of him. Crimbo to another clutch. Has been the only piece of success for this big clan's defense. And Volt. Oh, man, that's a freebie. Crimbo's going to execute and... him. Acor standing out in the open. Crimbo oh approaching he closely. He's got it. the time for this. He doesn't have the kit, but there's one right in front of him. So he'll pick that up, no doubt. Acorn oh misses, and Crimbo posts another clutch to keep Big in a position to potentially tie. They were actually thinking about him saving. <laughs> Some great timing. Great nade. Process back at it again. Won't be able to escape it though. Volt hot on the chase. Absent omnipresent in connector yet again. Uh, 
and I like that Taps is getting active. I like that he's moving up Fountain. Trying to keep it a step ahead. Beautiful boost from Crimbo too. So ideas still flowing for big. And it's working out. A sixth to be had. But Volt's still alive. And he has been cracking the headshots with that AK. Good cover out from Heaven. Searson, no smoke in front of him. But JDC, oh wow, able to react. Looked mm -hmm. for sure like he was going to get caught by that. And then instead... Head on a swivel holds off. So Isaac has to come out from connector where Tapson cannot be found. And yet still his presence is a warning that Isaac's concerned about. 40 seconds. We're going to get that water peak. You know, JDC, he'll go for the info. Tapson. The insurance policy, no doubt. At the end of the day, I think that Big showed a great adaptation throughout the CT side. Stacking that... Some great timing. Great nade. Post is back at it again. Print. Won't be able to escape it though. Volt hot on the chase. Absent omnipresent in connector yet again. And I yeah, like that Taps is getting active. I like that he's yep. moving up Fountain. Trying to keep it a step ahead. Beautiful boost from Crimbo too. So ideas still flowing for big. And it's working out. A sixth to be had. But Volt's still alive. And he has been cracking the headshots with that AK. Good cover out from Heaven. Searson, no smoke in front of him. But JDC, oh wow, able to react. Looked for sure like he was going to get caught by that. And then instead, head on a swivel holds off. So Isaac has to come out from connector where Tapson cannot be found. And yet still his presence is a warning that Isaac's concerned about. 40 seconds. We're going to get that water peak. You know, JDC, he'll go for the info. Taps in. The insurance policy, no doubt. At the end of the day, I think that Big showed a great adaptation throughout the CT side, stacking that. <laughs> yeah. There's still a Searson, there's still a Searson chair banner. He comes back once in a while. Yep, every once in a while. Yeah. Nice trade, Searson. Getting it through the smoke, not letting Snacks get away with the robbery, but there are still two CTs in Playground, so this is going to be a ton of info and control, but, I mean, info and control is one thing. You are leaving your B players exposed to this 4v1 hit. Mm -hmm. At best, 4v2, because they're not moving yet. They're not thinking that Big are going to make this play this fast, but sure enough, here it comes. Isaac, with everything to do, puts a smoke down in front of him, shaves a player off, and Searson, Process tries to clamber over. acor has got the cover. It's actually Acor in with both those kills. So no smoke to heaven as they try to rush the push. And the two players, B, oh, oh through okay. smoke again. Acor, first round with a real chance to knock down the rifles, and he gets three kills. The entire approach stuck. And then without any effort, he's also incredibly funny. Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be Searson back into short with an off here. Now there's the commitment, but there's also the miss. And a lot of confidence for Searson to just come swinging out with the op in that spot. I mean, they just took it to you aggressively last round. They do it a second time in Gamer Legion get the kill because of it. This is crazy. They're just going to leave with almost no utility. They're going to go back into this, but there's still two smokes up in a molly and an HE. I mean, great nades to stop this for Gamer Legion if they want to. They still have their pillar smoke. Ooh, look at that nade lineup. It's a volt time. Blind, but... Oh! Process does get ahead of it before he regains his vision. Volt, keeping his uh -oh. head tucked. Has two players to peek him at the same time. Process coming through with everything this round. One-man army. Cracks open the B site. Acorn not able to lay down lead right away, but he's got Prosis burning out of the bomb plant. Still a second missed shot, but the Molly does the whole entire job. And does that serve as enough of an opening? No. Acor and Snacks lean back and Big have answered, at the very least, one time on this B site.
I don't think they got everything they were looking for when they first came into the site, but it still worked out because the utility wasn't used. It didn't it didn't seem like Game Religion were really suspicious that big we're going to try to re-aggress at that timing. So they didn't even drop their smokes to deny the scaling onto the site, which didn't do Acor any favors when he ended up this last bastion versus the attack up in heaven. So big score of seventh round off a very aggressive start that doesn't work out. But Big will still limp forward with another buy. Yeah, fair enough. They've done well with their money. Five round game here. You're gonna need a few kills to go your way. But it's one on the A side back for Acor that makes things interesting. And oh, this one could make the difference. I was thinking for the CT side. Tiersen will just hand that one to him. Up. We'll get another kill. Bomb goes down. Nice. And at least a trade back here for JDC. Everybody's getting a little too over aggressive, I feel like. Max making moves. But does that remove him from what could very well be this commitment into A? We'll see how the timing goes down. Not that I'm going to sit here and question Snack's internal timing. <laughs> how dare one you? One of the best to ever do it in that regard. Seemingly one of the best to still do it at times. Just a freakish level of game sense. He comes up connector. He should have bathrooms under wraps, which then puts the T's into an awkward spot. You plant for bathroom, snacks could clip you. You plant for bank. You've got Isaac as another issue. Pick your poison big. It's a 2v2 to keep him in it. They decide to go towards bank, but Isaac has forfeited it as he leans closer towards the B site. No plans. They're going to cover CT shortly. The molly helps out a lot, but looks like JDC could instantly die right now. Yeah, snacks. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> no one gets away, but all is good. They'll close it. There's that timing from snacks around the world from B site through T spawn down con and then bathrooms to creep into JDC and to make sure that he doesn't get away. And it comes out with big winning knife taking CT first. So let's see what Snacks can call on this T side. Right now, A side's prime for the taking. Look at this rush straight up. Nothing going to stop it. Deep angle from Crimbo would have to be Lady <laughs> Luck that there gives it. Oh, there she is. There she is. Beauty. He is stuck on the smoke. Good flash in. But uh -oh. I mean, there's an entire pack Yikes. of players. If you think you're flashing into one or two CTs, you are wrong. Five members of Big awaiting that aggression and poor Snacks left alone against an entire Big Clan. Smoke on the bomb, kit to boot. They even keep their util. This retake hangs on to the frag, the flash, the kit, and all five players. That is... Well, they can't scare you into crossing up an elbow, so here are those nades to come down. And yeah, I like that JDC is checking on this. No one's, he's making a lot of noise, so... I wonder how this works out for him. <laughs> it's great if you have Krimbo hold that oh, down. What? Tabson wow. and Kios. No idea. Tabson just creeps out. Uh, Kios also come from the smoke. JDC trying to just throw out some nades towards lane. This is perfect. This oh, his own Tabson. flash. <laughs> Coming own out. Flash. That's crazy. Sets himself up perfectly. But he was flashing. That also gets Tabson out. Yeah, he was getting Tabson yeah. back to cave, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey man, two for one deal. Two for one. Good pizza. I mean, you just mentioned it, right? The aggression in mid, the aggression on lane, that that almost mandatory CT approach nowadays. Yeah. We get a prime example of it in this round, a demanding uh, defense out of big. I think it's what makes the map super fun. For the CT side, you know, especially if like the C's can't figure it out and they just keep trying to run through the smoke. And then you can reset, give up the space, go into situations like this. Very hey. confident it was going to be a high angle peak. And attempt to get it going. 10 volts plant. Uh, Crimbo slides out in front of it. Nice timing here from Crimbo. Convincing. 
So he gets a second to the round. Oranges, no antibiotics. You're toast. Some guy sticking a peg in your leg. <laughs> Arr, better than ever. Bottom mid held back again. You know, there's that constant challenge, right? Like the T side, it's got to attempt Ooh. it. It's got to keep the pressure up. You got to not give it all away for free. And in this instance, it does give Gamer Legion a better start to a round than what we've seen prior. Searson, chance now. We've seen some missed op shots from Searson that I don't like. He keeps going for the high peak, doesn't come. Mm -hmm. And now Kios is just able to chase in, catch the headshot. Krimbo looking for the impact as his teammates fall all around him. Oh, headshots wow. from Kios and Acor are excellent. And it's That's everything great. they needed to get this B site open. There's Gamer Legion's first. First and foremost, stop the mid aggression. One round to let go on T sides. Not too bad for big, so. But it is an opportunity for Gamer Legion. Oh man, some more good HEs, huh? Yep, yep. Oh yep. my gosh. Big chunk of Snacks and Isaac carved out. JDC looking to throw his over. Snacks gets shaved off the plate, taps and presses out. Then wow. we get JDC in from lane. The pressure here from Big, not letting Gamer Legion slip through with anything. Sound rifling from JDC. And he is on a tear at the moment now. 10 and 3, 7 rounds deep on Ancient. Might be his best map so far uh, since joining the big clan. If it keeps shaping up this way. May also be their biggest win. And a testament to the growth that they're going through with time, right? Three best yeah. of three officials so far since this roster comes together. A win over Amcal raises eyebrows just because Amcal has shown recent result at the RMR. They did get whooped by young ninjas, but, you know, you can chalk that up to growing pains. That's the beauty of being a new team. Ah, oh, we're just inconsistent, guys. Mm -hmm. Big three today would mean something. Process, he's on the angle. Or rather, jiggling it, I suppose. And all that time from Acor... Trying to brew the doubts of the CT side. Now he's been found out. And he better not die after time. Uh oh. Yeah, they're queuing they're that one up. About, he wants to get rid of that op if possible. Uh, Ooh, these walls are high. Out. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> ADC will also be a fun addition, I think, to their land presence, where it's, you know, taps in and got B bringing in the energy. He's a positive force as well. Ooh, and I'd say okay. a professional one as well. Yeah, for sure. Tapson can't get his as nicely as JDC did. Opening headshots, nice. Acor posts up, and the close wall cleared from Kios. Acor and Kios with another bout of success coming out of the B entries. It was them last time to get Gamer Legion's first. It is them again in round eight for the second. It, it, it kind of. Kind of looks like Searson doesn't really know how to op on this map, or at least isn't very comfortable on these angles. He's uh. He's gotten out done a few times now. <laughs> Why does Kios' picture look like a school photo from the mid 2000s? His his little <laughs> like the thumbnail photo there at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a, it's, it's a little smirk. Like hey, he kind of he kind of has like a kind of looks like a cartoon character. He he double entered you again. <laughs> you know, like this is the, yeah, this is the yeah, guy yeah. that's just owning you yeah, on yeah. B. This is the guy that just ripped your head off, Prosis. Tee -hee. Yeah. And he'll do it round after round. You know, I think that's the thing with Kios. It's not always the best ratings at the end. Of um, winner of this game has the honor of playing Spirit. Oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> just what I wanted on a Saturday. <laughs> Well, Spirit didn't look invincible, I'll be honest. Yeah. So, take that with a grain of salt. Searson leaving Gamer Legion salty as they lose one mid. All talk pressure for JDC. He doesn't give up his spot. They're also burning back of A site. JDC, good hold. Crimbo. Uh oh. Huh? Second player in the site. Lost track of him. We've got a 2v2 back. Oh, nice angle that's... from A core. 
Beautiful. Over the box, clipping taps in. Can't help but respect that one. Taps in. And Process, who has been having a very quiet game as everybody else is soaking up frags around him. Try to come through splitting the 1v2. There's the kit he needs. I think he wishes he had at least a, either a molly or a smoke. Chance Krimbo has, still has one back sight. He walks over Krimbo's dead body, gets no more util for it. Does get the A main fight. Acor just swinging like Ow. that. Now he knows where Snacks is at. He could try to tap this, swing it, or full on stick. Snacks jiggles it, comes out. Oh my guys. god, he could get it. I and think as he, got he it. jumps on top of Bomb, I think Process just clutched this. Oh! Oh! Why does Acor swing? Why does Acor swing after this? <laughs> Keeping it going. Shut up, Process. You know, that's that's the beauty, okay? Anytime you're down one kill, six deaths, folks, just remember you can post a 1v2. Round by round. The beauty of Counter-Strike. And Searson gets one. Putting a stop to the first ramp hit, but second player is able to overwhelm him. Taps in from the smoke, holds off. JDC kills Snacks towards cave entrance. And this is looking like a nice, strong 9-3 half for Big. Ugh. Acor softened up in the smoke, trying to track the kills. CT's aware of him, he's aware of them. Ring around the rosy, and Acor is gonna go down. Taps in just playing with his food at this point. And Isaac coming out of the smoke for the response. Bomb to be picked up and process. This is a 1v1 that's time limited. JDC coming out from the cave to try to help, but there's the crossfire and there's the ninth for big. That clutch from Pro to be an even score line into an even second half, and then I would believe it, but it looks like Big's form today is just good enough. They are good enough at Ancient for me to believe in them. So, you know, not a brave thing for me to say, but I'm gonna take big in this in this match right. right now. That's fair. I'm I'm down to see if JDC can continue the form on the T side. An 18 and 6 half is nothing to scoff at. It's not every day that somebody outfrags Krimbo on the big clan. If JDC can do it here and then. Oh my god. Does he just walk out after this or what? He's waiting for them to come and clear it, but. Nothing. Krimbo. Glock headshot. Rocks him. Kiaz is sitting on 2 HP as well. So Isaac, the dual Beretta's back B, maybe everything that they hold on with. Oh. Yo! Oh! He just hits shots like that sometimes, man. You love it. Oh. Bolts can't stop anybody getting into the donut, so now it's four members of Big about to hit A. Process yeah, has main side. control. Acor oh. popped him. Krimbo planting, and Acor toying with the thought of the temple challenge. As he comes out, we get a double back from Big. JDC, can he clutch it? Attack from both sides of Donut. No kit on the site player, but Kioz comes out with two health. He gets two kills with two bullets. Damn, nice one from Kioz. And yeah, that's the thing, man. He has... Uh, and there's that smirk. He, yeah, he... Close. First gun round comes out. We got a couple light belts for Gamer Legion's nades, and we've only got one kit on the play with Volt. Snacks coming out of the lane peak. Nicely done. Shaving off JDC from Elbow, who definitely had a chance at that. Process trying to get away from the donut peak, but now him and Snacks have changed oh, spots. Oh, that's actually a great move from Process. I think he knows Snacks is still out there. And either way, Krimbo finds him, so this oh, timing is going to work out perfectly. Plus, the wall bang comes through from Krimbo, so Kioz is softened, and we get Tabson with the kill on Isaac. They just got to bring the bomb back around before they keep it going. Searson can't hold on. It's... Still a formidable position for the T side. CTs are going to be very nervous right now when oh. Process gets his frag. That's the right play, actually. He had HP. He needed to take that duel, and he won it. Still possible for Gamer Legion as they come in with two decently health players. One health for Tabson after that nade. Kiyo's locked into the corner. Tabson hands busy on the plant. He's going in. He gets held. Pros is trying to do it all, but now it's that low health. This is a very winnable 1v3. Volt presses out. Krimbo, team kill, doesn't matter. Closes and big. And they've got their guns. Well, this might very well be their last chance. Pressed against it. Isaac opens up. So man advantage to fight from. Gamer Legion have had to wait for these guns. They make the most of the start of it. Snacks has felt frisky on front cave. 
Man, B is open right now when Tapson does want to walk into it. They've been calling out all the weak spots on this map. The prep has clearly been very good. As you come to expect with Big. Yeah, no kidding. And if Tapson plays his cards right or catches a lucky timing. Oh, he avoids massive jeopardy and they know it's a cave setup. Acor stuck behind the Molotov as well, so he's just stranded on lane. Krimbo looking to dance with Snacks, gets the headshot on him, anticipating another, but he pulls the nade out. Bad timing, and Kios, an open door to maintain man advantage. Searson's missed shot, doesn't get the trade. It's a new so round. KDC goes sprinting over towards the A site. Searson just throws caution to the wind in terms of the cave player that he knew would have been there. And wow. Kios oh, is going to be the man of the round. Four kills on this one. On ancient. Well, yeah, and also just like small details like that, like running by the cave without even... Yeah, like, you've yeah, got a like pistol out anyway. was you're... definitely stacked up. Yeah. Yeah. And you're looking at jump up where JDC just ran from. Like, there's impossible that there's anybody middle. Maybe yeah. top mid. You know, not that you have a chance to get past that. M but it's still just... Yep. Devil's in the details. Acor has not been able to have any free moments on the CT side. He gets hit down to 46 health again, but Isaac comes out from Red Room, challenging and not letting everything fall for free. We'll see Kios impactful in the round prior, being demanded of him again, but he's Molotoved off from holding long control, his two teammates also. So two sets of fire here on Kios, left and right, plus the flash. Utility making his job hard. He'll still try to duel with this as bomb's gone down and the frag bounces past. Util all over, but he just keeps spraying away. And between him and Isaac, they've kept this one alive. Searson and Krimbo alive in the 2v3. Softened up CTs for the retake. Searson waits, hits the headshot, and pushes Krimbo to a clutch. He hears him moving forward on the site. No kit between the two. They're thinking ramp and Krimbo. He's going to walk out free frag just like that. And as Krimbo tucks back in times of the essence, Volt will chase him down, has to pick up the kit and then go for the defuse, but in doing so has lost his timing. Bomb's gonna pop and Big will eliminate Gamer Legion. 13-6, map three, after a vertical...